G'day guys, my name is Jaden. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at Hong Kong International Airport and today I'm flying Cathay Pacific A350-1000 from Hong Kong to Kuala Lumpur. Now, without further ado, let's go in and check in. It's very nice to be back in Hong Kong International Airport. Now that travellers won't have to quarantine when they enter Hong Kong, a lot of locals are taking this opportunity to travel. A lot of Asian destinations like Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok and Japan are popular options. I'm travelling with my mum today who's a One World Emerald member so we could use the first class check-in which is really fancy. So we just cleared immigration and security and at check-in I got this uh, lounge pass. So today we could either use the wing first class or the peer business class lounge. And obviously we're going to use the wing first class lounge. So Cathay, the Wing First Class Lounge is currently only available for those transiting from mainland China and for those starting their journey from Hong Kong, you must also have a blue code on your leave home save app. This morning, the First Class Lounge is very nice and peaceful. There's no more champagne in the champagne bar due to COVID-19, but you can still order champagne from the restaurant, which we'll check it out later. There's also shower rooms and cabanas with bathtubs. I'm afraid there's no day suites here, but the sofas and chairs are really comfortable. It's the kind of airport lounge that I'll go to the airport early for. Now we're gonna check out the restaurant called The Haven. It's a a la carte restaurant and here's the breakfast menu. To begin our lovely experience at The Haven, I got a glass of mimosa and mum got mojito. For food, mum went for wonton without the noodles. I went for a salmon bagel, very very good. And we also ordered a rice roll to share, which is called chang fun in Cantonese, a very common dish at Yam Cha. Last but not least, we also shared a western breakfast set. Look at the poached eggs, oh my god. You can ask for bottled water to take away. Here they give you Aquapana. It's an Italian brand. It might be cheap in Italy, but certainly not cheap at all in Hong Kong or Australia. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. I'm gonna show you the cabana very quickly. So that's your entrance and the toilet. So big here. Um, you can tuck in your shirt here, hang it there, press the button around the corner and someone's gonna iron it for you. You've got a wardrobe with your beautiful robe and fluffy slippers. You've got a mirror there, your sink, and um, what's that? Um, amenities like your toothbrush and stuff. You've got uh, another mirror there, uh, a proper makeup space, I suppose. You've got towels there and there, uh, rain shower, the beautiful bath, and a sofa right here. Here in the first class lounge, they're using the Bamford products. It's slowly taking over ESOP on board Cathay planes and also Cathay lounges around the world. So while it's a wait for the water to fill up in the tub, I'm going to rest here for a bit. You can shower right next to the tub and then you can jump into the tub nice and clean. If the lounge isn't busy at all and there's no wait list for the cabanas, you can certainly wait here until you need to board your plane. The cabana is a really, really nice and luxury place to relax before your flight. It's a great way to start a great journey. So now it's time to say goodbye to the Wing First Class Lounge and head to our boarding gate. We're currently in the green zone of Hong Kong Airport. It's a no-go zone for transit passengers, but they're not missing out much anyway. It's only the first class lounge here and nothing is really open. The gate's closer to immigration are the ones going to mainland China. All flights to overseas will depart from the orange zone. Once you step foot into the orange zone, there's no way to go back. Immigration officers will make sure that you're not going to mainland China. So for those who are eligible to use the lounge, but you can't use the wing because of the green and orange zone matter, you'll be invited to use the Pier Business Class Lounge. Anyway, here's our aircraft to Kuala Lumpur. It's a four-year-old Cathay Pacific Airbus A350-1000 Bravo Lima X-Ray Alpha. It's the first A350-1000 that's delivered to Cathay. And I actually flew this plane four years ago on its inaugural passenger service from Hong Kong to Taipei. I'll have the link for that trip report in the description down below. Now it's time to board CX-725. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. Have a safe yeah. day. Right? 
Welcome on board Cafe A350-1000. Business class is laid out in a very nice 121 configuration. Our seat today will be 21k. Waiting for you at your seat is a very soft and large pillow. Blanket is available on request. So here's the gorgeous engine and wing view from 21k. And now I'll quickly go through the seat features. We have a large touchscreen TV. Besides us, we've got a TV remote. So when you're lying down and the TV is too far to reach, you can use the remote. On long haul flights, you can also request to get woken up when the crew start their meal service. From the panel, you can also find a reading light. You can adjust the position of it. Those buttons are for your seat controls, like for reclining and leg rest. Here's a large cocktail table for your drinks and nibbles, and of course personal items. During the meal service, you would want to use this larger tray table instead. The wooden material feels really nice. Underneath the table, you can find a storage compartment. The cover becomes a part of your bed when you recline. I'll show you that after takeoff. When you're in an upright position, all that becomes your ornament. So you can adjust the TV to your preferred angle. And most importantly, I guess, you have a coat hook. The crew just came around to give out welcome drinks. I went for the cafe special, Cafe Delights. It's a very popular drink among cafe passengers, but I'm not into healthy drinks at all. The crew also just gave out business class menu, a cafe care kit with your face mask and hand wipes, and also a fast track card for immigration at KLIA. So here's a quick look at the menu. The first two pages are your drink list, and then page three is lunch menu, page four, wine list. From the moment you begin your journey, we're here to make the experience effortlessly smooth and enjoyable. Loop the strap around your waist and fasten your buckle, then pull the strap firmly to tighten it. Only inflate your life jacket when leaving the aircraft. So only after takeoff, I discovered another seat feature. Here you'll find a storage compartment with your noise cancelling headphone, a mirror, a pocket, a USB port and a universal power socket. The very soft and large pillow is also provided by Bamfit. I really really want to take this home, but trust me I didn't do it. I didn't have space in my bag. Now that we've taken off, we can recline our seat to get comfortable. Find a few healthy flying tips on your personal TV to help you relax during your flight. Bluetooth can be used and Wi-Fi service is available on this flight. Our business class crew just came to say hello and asked us what we want to drink for the cocktail service. So I asked for a glass of mimosa, a glass of sparkling water. The cocktail service also includes mixed nuts. I'm quite happy and surprised that Cafe is doing a cocktail service before they commence the lunch service on this relatively short flight. I'm just enjoying my life and I'm so comfortable right now. I miss flying business class. 
So another group came to set up our table for the lunch service. The cabin crew just began the meal service with two salads, bakery items and drinks. The salad on the top left corner is a artichoke and oven dried tomato salad. This one I'm having is marinated prawn, potato and leek salad and it's really really fresh and delicious. For bakery items I went for two garlic breads, for drinks I went for a Riesling and a water. The Riesling is from Margaret River, Australia. I reckon it goes pretty well with the prawns. For the main course we've got given three options, a Chinese, Western and a Malaysian option. I went for the Malaysian beef rangdang. This Malaysian beef rangdang has got vegetable curry and turmeric rice. Let's give it a try. The combination of beef, turmeric rice and vegetable curry is just simply amazing. You can dine at your own pace, so whenever you're finished with your course, the crew will come collect it and give you the next course. Next and final course is dessert. For dessert there are four options, cheese, fruits, Indian sweets and ice cream. You can choose as many as you want. I chose the ice cream and also the Indian sweets, ladu and gaha hawa. For drinks I went for an English tea and I'm also continuing with my Riesling. So the ladu and gaha hawa smells good. It's basically a sweet chickpea flour ball and spiced carrot pudding with nuts. Ice cream they give you hagadas and I went for the macadamia nuts flavour. Really really good. So that's a wrap for the meal service on board this flight. It was a very lovely experience. Hello there, welcome to Cafe A350 1000 Business Class Lavatory. The wavelength's a bit funny. So here's a quick lavatory tour. You've got a basin there, uh, hand sanitizer, food, body lotion, and another hand sanitizer. You've got tissues, paper cups, kawook, mirror, kawook, the toilet itself. And the best thing is, it's got a window here. I've just put my bed in a flat position and this is how it looks like from the top. And this is how it looks like from your point of view when you sit down. When you sleep you can lift up this armrest, it gives you some extra privacy. There's also a bottle holder. You can press this button to extend a flap which gives you extra space for your bed. Your shoulder and arm space is pretty good here. On the other end of the bed, that compartment is still accessible when you lie down. You can easily fit in a small to medium sized handbag. And then when you put the lid down, that lid becomes a part of your bed. The amount of leg space here is quite substantial compared to many business class out there. It may not have a sliding door but comfort wise, I love this very much. For your in-flight entertainment, Cafe has plenty on offer, including many Western films and Cantonese Hong Kong movies. You can also watch live BBC and other channels. But my favourite part would have to be the view outside. This plane has two external cameras, one at the belly, one at the tail. The flight map system is interactive, it's quite easy to use and navigate around. Not expecting any delays for you. We should have this at the terminal at 20 minutes past four in the afternoon. There is no time to change between uh, Malaysia and Hong Kong. Uh, for your reference now, it's 36 minutes past 5, up uh, 3 in the afternoon in Malaysia. On behalf of the crew and myself, it's been our pleasure to have you all. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us and have the joy of staying in Kuala Lumpur. A good afternoon. To cabin crew, 30 minutes to landing. Thank you. This is an announcement from the local authority. We've started our descent into Kuala Lumpur, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with Cathay Pacific right here, right now. Our journey today started at the first class check-in at Hong Kong Airport, loved it there, and then it was straight to the first class lounge, another very fancy place with a restaurant called The Haven. Most of the food were delicious, except for the baked beans, I have to say it was quite horrendous, it tasted like it was straight from the can. A bit too tomato-y. The cabana experience was amazing, as always. Boarding the aircraft was easy and efficient at Hong Kong Airport. Once you sit down, you get a welcome drink, and also some other several things like fast track card for Kuala Lumpur Airport, which I really really appreciated, because the queue at immigration later was horrendous. So after takeoff, there was a cocktail service, and then the meal service comprising of starter, main and dessert. It was all very very delicious. And for those wondering why there's a Indian dessert on offer, it's because Malaysia has a significant Indian population, and Diwali is only two weeks away. 
I like the Laduso the Flower Ball very very much, but not the Gahahawa. Just a bit too sweet for myself, or Cathay Pacific didn't do it good. The service from our cabin crew was also fantastic. However, this was a relatively full flight in business class, so the service wasn't very personal. So overall today, it was an excellent flight with Cathay Pacific. For your information, flying between Hong Kong and Kuala Lumpur at the moment is really expensive. Business class on Cathay Pacific Return starts from 13,000 Hong Kong dollars. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, I upload a new trip report like this one every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong and Malaysia time, so you don't want to miss out. You can also follow me on my other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Be Real. If you want to make direct impacts into funding my flights, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. Please visit the links in the description for more information. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into KLIA, and then after that, I'll do a QA. and a See you later, bye bye. It's so cringed. So today I've got four questions to answer. Let's start with, are you planning on flying Jetstar or VA from Adelaide to Bali? I have no plans to fly Jetstar to Bali or anywhere international with their A320 because I don't want to suffer. VA, probably if I get economy X or business class because it's just 737 and the flying time I think is around five hours. So you do want to get comfortable uh, when you fly to Bali. Next question. In order to maintain altitude during turn, what must the angle of attack? Why must the angle of attack increase? Because you don't want the aircraft to stall and you want everyone to not die. 
Next question, Why? Uh, when are you coming to Las Vegas? It's a place that I uh, always really want to go, same as Macau. Like, I've been to Macau, but last time I was there, I think I was 10, so like over half of my lifetime ago. But I'm um, coming from Hong Kong, I'm never really a casino person. I'm more like a horse race person. But I'm keen to explore that side of me. So Las Vegas, if I have the chance and savings, I'll pay you a visit. Last question, how long have you been flying? So I'm 22 now, 23 next month. And um, my, my first flight was in uh, 2001 when I flew Virgin Atlantic. So technically I've been flying for 21 years, which is, which sounds amazing, right? Like if you're a pilot and you've been flying for 21 years, that's like a great accomplishment, but no, I've just been uh, sitting on a plane. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for the conclusion today. I'll see you um, tomorrow or the day after. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.